The vendors pitched camp at City Hall with bated breath, expecting a favorable decision by the councillors. They were the first to enter the chamber's gallery, waiting to hear their fate as KCCA councillors were in a hastily convened meeting to deliberate on a way forward on the recent orders by the government to cut off vendors from the streets. After close to six hours of deliberations, members agreed that vendors have a right to earn a living, but this must be done in an orderly manner. However, some councillors were opposed to granting the vendors some limited access to go about their business, but the majority agreed that some streets be gazetted for the vendors, especially in the evening. It's our considered view that government needs to make an immediate pronouncement on what kind of interim resettlement action plan is appropriate for the street vendors. Temporarily, we consider the proposal of the Lord Mayor in regard to gazetting of the street as a temporary measure. Not see what would really make us turn around on our own resolutions that we have taken and say the vendors must be allowed to go on the street. What we must provide for now, Your Worship, is the solution on how. We need these people to work because they must earn, they must earn a living. And therefore, on Lord Mayor, let the technical people plan. Despite the last minute reprieve over to the vendors, the hawkers who had joined the vendors in protest were dished by the councillors and asked to leave the city centre. The hawkers will have to move. We can, for instance, license them to operate in the suburb. But in the central business district, I, I am not for hawkers. But there's a catch for all the vendors and hawkers who must now have an operational license to be able to operate on gazetted roads. Let the, the revenue directorate or director be the leader on gazetting those streets and then help us in terminating the fee that's for the license that is going to be paid by the hawkers. But will the proposals arrive at the desired goal? to decongest and create trade order in the city. I think we need to be specific on how many, like, is it first come, first serve, or issue more, more licenses to particular vendors, something like that. But we need to debate on the numbers of the people that are going to be on the streets. It's not sustainable. The cost of plantation, for example, if you have 3,000 people in one night, where are they going to urinate? Where are, they, where, where are the places of convenience? Who is going to pay for their security? But as the councillors were passing the resolutions, downtown, police together with KCCA enforcement officers were dislodging vendors from the city streets. KCCA has requested the police to support their enforcement uh, unit and have the hawkers removed from the streets. The most affected roads included Namirembe Road, Luum Street, Najivovo Road and Kafumbe Mukasa.